So a story just dropped today discussing some really traumatic events for a single mother of three kids being taken to jail over hospital bills. Um, well, more specifically, it was an ambulance. Now, while this woman was sick, and I want to go ahead and let you all know her name. Her name is Melissa Welch Latronica. Um, and she was pulled over by a police officer for a registration tag. Now, when she was pulled over, she wasn't aware that the hospital sent her bills to court. <laughs> and I'm just like, I didn't even know this was a thing. I couldn't really fathom it. But the hospital bill, the hospital sent her bills to court. The $3,000 ambulance bill that apparently she was summoned for. However, they clearly did not make a great effort in tracking her down because even though she changed addresses, she said she hadn't received a phone number, a phone call um, or any, because uh, you know what a court summons, it's pretty easy to get in touch with somebody. If either you get the phone number, because uh, the phone number should be on record, um, or you can find their address if they still live in the area. And she did live in the area, which is why the police were able to pull her records and thought it would be worthwhile to take her to jail and make her post bail or pay a portion of that debt. So even though they sent the, the bill to court, there was some stuff that went on before that that you should probably know about, like the reason she had to go to court to begin with. So yeah, I told you it was a bill. Yeah, I told you it was an ambulance bill, but it's worse than that. See, Melissa was pregnant with her third child. Melissa was feeling a little off, um, probably sick due to the preg pregnancy. Um, and in her state, she could it wouldn't have been safe because of how late along the pregnancy was. Now, it wouldn't have been safe to drive, so she had to call an ambulance. The ambulance bill was roughly $3,000. But her two options were drive or take an ambulance. So she chose the thing that was not only safer for herself, but safer for the child that she was bearing. Now, of course, in America, only does, only in this country, does it actually cost you. Only in this country can you be penalized for choosing your health over death. Only in this country. Because that ambulance ride cost $3,000, and guess how much it would have cost if... Melissa had Medicare for all. The proposal that Bernie is introducing, that Ro Khanna, Alexandria Casio Cortez, Tulsi Gabbard. This woman was in jail because Medicare for all isn't here yet. And I like, somebody, somebody's gonna laugh about this. She should have paid her bill. She shouldn't have had the kids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This woman, there's no, there's no other way to slice it. I know 98% of you are not out looking for yourself in the police blotter or on, on lines to figure out if you got a, a, a damn debt citation in a bench warrant on your name. So if you're going to try to throw shade at this lady as if she was supposed to know something like this, the bottom line is she shouldn't have been in jail. She shouldn't have been in debt. Getting sick shouldn't bankrupt us. But... In our current system, that's exactly what it does. So why are we even still having a debate as to whether or not Medicare for all is it should be should should be replacing this horrible Affordable Health Care Act? The Affordable Health Care Act was written by insurers. That is why Barack Obama had no idea what the hell his bill was going to say until it got passed because he didn't know just how strong lobbying was against what he wanted to be single payer health care. He didn't know. This bill was never meant for us. It was meant for the insurance companies to make as much money as humanly possible. And then make the state pay for the rest of what the federal government doesn't want to pay for. But either way, insurance companies make their money. And now it looks like the criminal justice system is also going to make some money off of this Affordable Health Care Act. So this was in Indiana. This is probably a state law. But trust me, 
If they realize in one state that they can get away with something like this, it'll happen all over the country. I guarantee it. This could be your kid. This could be your grandmother who was arrested. Not even this. I'm not exaggerating. This could have been someone's grandma who got arrested for a routine hospital visit or an emergency room visit. You understand this, right? They put this woman in jail for a three thousand dollar ambulance ride from from when she was pregnant. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Medicare for all is actually cheaper than what we're spending right now for ACA. Medicare for all does not force people to join the military just to have something they've never had in their life, which is health care. Medicare for all doesn't ask for a parent to let their child live with them and pay for most of their expenses just so that they can maintain health care until 26 years old. It's time. This, this is it right here. This is it. If this is the, like, I don't understand what could wake people up. If a single mother who went to jail because she couldn't pay an ambulance bill that she accrued when she was pregnant trying to get to the hospital to make sure that her and her baby were safe, I don't know what else people need to be convinced that we need Medicare for all. I honestly don't. This is disgusting. We need progressives in office to make sure that this type of lunacy isn't allowed to happen. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember, find your balance. Peace.